India, a budding superpower, with around 1.5 billion citizens and an economy rivaling countries like the United Kingdom and France, definitely knows how to defend itself. But, the question is, how capable India actually is, and to what extent can India go to protect itself? We all know that, India possesses weapons of mass destruction, which is mostly comprised of nuclear bombs. India is also one of the few elite nations, which boasts of having both atom bombs and hydrogen bombs, in its nuclear arsenal. But does India have neutron bombs? Watch till the end to find out. Before we investigate about India's neutron bomb building capability, let's first find out what a neutron bomb actually is, and how is it different from other bombs. We all know that, an atom is made up of three particles, the electron, proton, and neutron. Different combination of these particles, form different types of elements. Some of these elements are lighter in weight, while others are heavier. The lightest element of them all is hydrogen, while the heaviest is uranium. Uranium is also one of the most unstable element, and thus is radioactive. Now, as per Einstein's theory of special relativity, or more popularly known as, E equals to MC square theory, breaking up an atom, or fusing multiple atoms together, will release huge amounts of energy. The process of breaking up heavy atoms into lighter atoms, is known as fission, while fusing multiple lighter atoms is known as fusion. This forms the fundamental process of harnessing nuclear energy. An atom bomb, houses heavy elements such as uranium or plutonium, as its primary nuclear warhead. The bomb is detonated using the principle of fission. The process is not efficient, and a lot of unutilized radioactive substance, is shot up into the atmosphere, which when falls back to earth, is called as a nuclear fallout. An hydrogen bomb, or a thermonuclear bomb, is a little complicated. An hydrogen bomb utilizes both fission and fusion. It houses a fission bomb as the primary warhead, the immense thermal energy generated by the fission bomb then detonates the secondary fusion bomb, which in turn detonates the leftover unused fission material. This stage-wise detonation generates enough energy, to annihilate anything present inside the blast radius. Each and everything present within the blast radius, is reduced to ashes. This exhibits, an hydrogen bomb's immense destructive nature. The detonation of a hydrogen bomb, generates a huge number of radioactive neutron particles, which is reflected inside to be used in completely utilizing the fission and fusion materials. But what will happen if you release these huge number of radioactive neutrons outwards, instead of reflecting it inwards? You will get a neutron bomb. And thus, a neutron bomb is a hybrid nuclear bomb, which utilizes both fission and fusion. The fission bomb unleashes the neutrons, in the form of neutron radiation, while the fusion bomb provides the required annihilating force. Thus, a neutron bomb is an enhanced radiation type weapon, which can be used as a tactical nuclear warhead, to strategically eliminate the enemy, while reducing the risk of any collateral damage. The neutron bomb is the most efficient form of a nuclear weapon, which can be mass produced as a proper professional tactical warhead. This is unlike atom bomb or hydrogen bomb, which are just a bulky piece of radioactive devices, that causes utter devastation. A neutron bomb, has a dual nature, it annihilates everything within a close proximity of around 1 kilometer, while killing living beings beyond the thermal radius, through armor penetrating neutron radiation, within a radius of around 2 kilometers. Thus a neutron bomb can be used to tactically annihilate an enemy establishment, without causing harm to nearby civilians. A neutron bomb, can range between 1 kiloton to 100 kiloton, thus providing immense flexibility while determining its size and destructive nature. A neutron bomb can be made as compact as to be able to launch it from a 200 mm howitzer. And the best thing about neutron bomb is that, the neutron radiation lasts for just two days, this means that after two days other people can safely continue to live their lives. Now coming to India, then the only countries to have successfully tested a neutron bomb are USA, Russia, France, and China. Surprisingly, 
they are also the countries which have successfully tested a hydrogen bomb. And theoretically, the technology of a neutron bomb, is very similar to that of a hydrogen bomb, and thus it is believed, that if a country can detonate a hydrogen bomb, it can also successfully detonate a neutron bomb. In May 1998, at the Pakran 2 nuclear test, India successfully detonated a hydrogen bomb, and thus India is capable of building and detonating a neutron bomb, along with the United Kingdom. Both these countries have the knowledge and expertise to build and detonate a neutron bomb. United Kingdom has not yet accepted this fact, but India's lead nuclear scientist Archidambaram, in August 1999 has accepted the fact that, India can develop and detonate a neutron bomb. Another renowned Indian nuclear scientist, S.K. Sikha, in December 2000 confessed that, India also has the capability of simulating a test nuclear explosion, including that of a neutron bombs, on India's indigenous supercomputers. This means that, India now does not need to perform an actual nuclear test, it can do the same on its indigenous supercomputer. It is also important to know that, both India and Pakistan has neither signed the treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons, nor the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, which means that, both India and Pakistan can legally continue to develop and test nuclear weapons. And Pakistan is yet to develop and test a hydrogen bomb. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do check out our other videos as well. Links to a few are on your screen. Please subscribe and do not forget to hit the like button. See you in another video. Thanks for watching.